Good morning. I thought this would be a perfect time to do our flip through. I've completed the journal that we were working on. I completed all the signatures and I guess I wanted to show you. Um, this journal will go on sale on, in my Etsy shop um, probably later today. I'll list it. So I wanted to do a flip through for you. So basically, um, I embellished the front since we were together last and I created the tie. All I did was, um, see if you can see it, I put little grommets right here to pull the tie through the sari silk and it goes around it. Um, if I move that up, how we embellished the front was I uh, had embossed some strips that I had left over and these are all the different embossed strips and I used one of those and then a piece of material that we glued on there and I had this beautiful butterfly embellishment that I had received quite a while ago so I wanted to use that up and I thought it was pretty because the gold matched the gold on the cover so let's open it up here and we'll see. So the inside, whoops, I have a little bit of sorry silk coming off. Okay, the first page on the inside is a corner pocket with a couple embellishments, a tag and a journaling card. I'm just gonna kind of go through and just show you each different thing and not spend a lot of time on it because it's pretty full. This is just a journaling card. And in any of these pockets, you can put your own uh, journaling paper or pictures, whatever. I tried to leave a lot of space for journaling, as I always do, but I don't necessarily like all the blank pages, so I do try to dress them up just a little. This is a corner flip, a Rita flip for journaling. And I have a couple of cards. This is kind of pretty. And then this is, um, I'm going to take everything out to show you. This actually is a, an envelope. So what I've done is, I've the way I've glued it in, there's a pocket back here to put a, a journaling card. Then the inside of the envelope, the bingo card comes out. If you can see, it's a security envelope. And I also added a um, piece of paper right back here in this pocket, as well as a card that we embossed with love. Then there's an envelope that I have, oh, here, an envelope here, a lot of journaling spaces. And inside the envelope, there's a blank journaling paper, coffee dyed. Some people tea, tea stain, I coffee dye because I drink coffee. Um, and again, just a decoration. This is a flip out, a, fold, a journaling flip out. Again, lots of space for journaling. This has two um, inserts. There's a tag and it goes all the way through and I decorated that. And then this is a folded out for journaling. This is a flip out as well for journaling. I stamped on there and then this is actually a piece of music paper that I stamped on to embellish the edges. <clears throat> there's a paper doily journaling card and this we stenciled. If you remember we stenciled the inside of this. And this 
is also a, a little flip that we decorated with, I used the embossed paper as well, and then just blank journaling pa paper. And this is our paper clip, our decorated paper clip that just clips over the page. This is another Rita Donnelly flip for journaling, as well as journaling ticket and a library card to journal on. And then we sewed some lace on here, and you'll see I also did lace on this one. This was a multi-pocket that we made, if you can see. So there's a place here, 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 and here. So I put the large postcard back here. And then this we stitched along the edge here with a decorative stitch, put that in there. And then this cute, cute girl, put her in there. And then this beautiful tag for journaling in there. And another, here's a pocket with some lace trim, a couple of journaling tags. And there's a flip out for journaling. There's our embossed um, manila folder. And I put a little stamp on there. And then we made this little envelope for journaling. A faux envelope that you can tuck in that little thing. And then this envelope I just have stuck over the side and we decorated that. And again, there's blank paper in there for journaling. This was fun. This is our envelope that we made. Um, again, a security envelope that we covered we made that with a journaling card behind it. I left it open on this side so you could put something behind it. And then we made this card to stick right down on this side. Just a little different. Stenciled the inside of our signature, decorated, left lots of space for journaling. Here's a corner pocket. This is made out of an envelope as well on both sides, so it wraps right around the page. And then I've got a couple of journey, journaling cards that we made that go in there. They're collaged with papers and leftover papers and little embellishments. Um, oh, let's go to this side. And this side, there are, I put two tags in there that we made. This is what we did way back in the beginning. This was a paper napkin flowers. Uh, what we believe does matter. Ideas are the foundation of action. This is a corner pocket. We, um, I just made some uh, decorative, used some decorative scissors and made the edge like that. There's a journaling card and then uh, journaling, this opens. I'm not sure, oh, here it is. Just a journaling paper. Now this signature, remember we made multi two signatures were the same, two sets of two signatures that were the same, and this one corresponds with this one. There's a few differences in them, maybe words, decorations, whatever, but basically we did them at the same time, so they're very similar. <clears throat> So here's your card and your postcard. And then this is a pad of paper, small pad of paper. And here's our read it down only flip and some journaling space. Oh, and all of these background papers in here, most of them are from Victoria Designs. Um, any embellishments, decorations, digitals that I bought, I'll reference down in the description. 
Again, this is a envelope packet with a, a tag, Dare to Begin. And in here is your, a different bingo card, but similar. And your extra paper. And this uh, is embossed with the word trust. And again, I used a, a stamp, a homemade stamp for on here to decorate that. And there's another envelope and inside there is a blank paper for journaling. And here's another flip, a girl flip on different paper background for journaling. And again, you remember seeing this paper and then this is just a different tag that I put in there. And a, another flip out. Beautiful journaling space. I. Uh, took a piece of their um, journaling paper and I kind of ripped the edges and glued that in so it would look kind of old. Doily with our little stamp on it and a postcard. And again, another sheet for journaling. Another paper clip, just like our other one that was in the other signature, but just decorated different. Now this is a belly band, again, with a journaling card and a postcard, or a library card, excuse me, and our lace. And here's our multi-pocketed flip again with all the same, little different designs, but the same, I tried to pick the same kind of pocket ephemera and our two tags, our flip, and again, a little bit different, differently decorated, but the same a faux envelope for you. And this envelope also has paper for journaling. And again, here's another envelope. Just They're just decorated different, but each signature is basically set up the same. This has uh, just little pieces of teacup paper. There's two of each design in here. So, and then this is just a journaling card stuck inside there. And this is the envelope that flips around. So we've got our uh, tags back here. And again, our, our napkin, but different words. And then our two cards here, or excuse me, our one journaling card there. Uh, the pocket has the decorative scissors cut in it. And then this, the last, is a journaling folder. And so it's got two pockets made out of, I made these out of the inside, like I opened up an envelope, the security envelope, so that's the design, and then I decorated those, and you've got paper and a tag, and then this is a card, a homemade card, of one of my original pieces of artwork. And it's blank, so you can give it away or whatever. And that's the journal. Um, I don't know if you noticed, if you followed along in the other videos, I did have to take out a couple pages because it was so full. Um, it was so full that I couldn't even close it. And, you know, I wanted to make sure that it was nice and full for you, but um, also left room so if you wanted to put your own embellishments in there, you could. So some of the pages I did have to take out but it is a pretty full journal and I love how it turned out and I hope you do too. Thank you and have a great day. Bye.